Welcome to this video. I'm Anna and I'm German, so please feel free to correct any of my English mistakes. In this video we will cover three topics. The first, how to connect carbon fiber rods to build a gantry for the boat. Second, what was my solution for the tilting mechanism for the rudder. Third, how is the mast tilting mechanism for healing the mast now working. I have a special, I think we can talk about the servo setup and we have a new foil setup plan. Let's start. First of all I want to show you the approach of modifying the ball joints for the mast system. As you have seen in the last video we lost one of those joints. That's why I stiffened up the whole connection and also increased the thickness on the sides. This is just a prototype, it is made out of CA glue and some tissue. We also have now a link up to the mast system, so we don't have any compression anymore. What I have discovered is that on the front ball joint is literally no load at all. Maybe we can leave it out of the system, because the only point is here. We cannot, I think, um, build the ball joint just beneath the mast because then the whole system would start to rotate like this um, when we are foiling downwind and the boom is pushing not straight. Let's get to the next point. We have the main sheet. The main sheet comes out of one of those holes. I have now used just a little sling. The height of this point is in the same height as those joints. That's why, um, no, that's because when we are moving the mast, we want to keep the main sheet tension or main sheet length the same as we would use it um, in a higher position the main sheet length would increase or decrease by tilting the mast. Speaking of tilting we go further back to the boat. This is the old slot for the rudder. As you can see it's pretty rough and to use the rudder system as planned we need to put a tube over the rudder shaft and use a servo horn, servo horn with a lug nut to hold the tube down. This could be used to hold down or hold up the rudder, but therefore we need to make the slot bigger. Um, I think that's quite a lot of work. It is possible to do so, but not for now. And I came up with a solution which I think is quite good. We can see it here. I built a gantry out of carbon fiber tubes and rods. Those thin ones are just rods, but I think we can use tubes as well. Those are all tubes. My typical little flake in the resin. Um, those tubes have been sanded and just with one layer of clear polyester resin. Um, the joints are stiffened up with carbon fiber. It looks a little rough right now and I think it's not easy to see but you have to trust me. I use those little pulleys to connect the lines which will tilt the rudder system. To connect the lines I used a servo horn where I cut down the lower point and use the holes where I can push the rope through and up here there's a little hook so I have a good amount of throw. Later in this video I will show you what the inside will look like. Let's talk about the systems. Those lines are used to control the tilting or the healing for the rudder. To keep the tension up I use this rubber band solution and in case the rubber, bands fails, the rubber band fails 
I have a backup over here. So with maximum tension, I can pull. You can see the backup is getting tighter and tighter. By now we have literally no slop, which is held down by the rubber band. But I don't know how much force we will get in the water by the rudder. Going inside the boat, this is, or shall I say, this was the servo I wanted to use. Um, sadly, I burned it up. Uh, I think it's because my pulleys aren't ball bearing, has no ball bearings in it. Mm, please correct me, what is the correct word for this? Um, here in the front we have another pulley which is connected to this vertical rod with, which also stiffens up the whole mast system. This servo pulls this rope and this rope in either direction. So let's move it just by our hands. As you can see we now moved the servo and the rudder got some good angle to it. By the way I can recommend you this little tool at 10.8 volt um, cordless. The link is as you can guess in the video description. My new servo also arrived but it's the wrong number. I ordered a 321 servo. I think uh, I can make you a link in the description as well for the new servo. Back to the inside. You can see here this is the rudder servo. The rudder servo is connected with these lines to the outer sides. I initially wanted to run them on one side only but that would say that would mean that if we tilt the rudder, the distance between here and here by tilting the rudder would change. We now have a different length. What we also can do um, by now is by changing the left one to the right one, so crossing them in between we can set a kind of offset for the rudder. At the moment the rudder is moving pretty normal in pretty stable... Uh, let me try to do it... in a pretty good stable angle. Um, but if we want a changing angle by changing a uh, heel for the rudder, we can achieve that by twisting the lines for it. My backstay setup still works fine. Um, we have for the... I don't know if you can see it. Um, we have a new system for the mast keel. Mast heal, mast healing system for the for counting the mast. All the systems get held down by this nut. I will unscrew it for you real quick. Again, while editing, you are probably asleep right now, so feel free to speed up the video or switch um, the position in the video. Just click through. It's not necessary to watch everything. If you know something, you can turn it off. By now you can see this threaded nut, threaded bolt from the keel. If we don't want to run the keel we have to make something up to ensure that we still have this bolt to mount the servos. In the back we have a slot which is basically invisible. I can try, as you can see, there is a slot. Um, where this carbon fiber plates get into. So we hold in the back the servo down, kind of like here, and in the front by this nut, like so. Um, 
the whole system is as usually fixed up here, then going down through one hole and up to the keel, to the, to the mast uh, gantry. Here you can see how I mounted this pulley. It is quite trick because I used this part of the rope around the carbon fiber rod in the middle of the boat and wrapped it around. Um, this pulley is therefore adjustable by pulling on this knot and this sling. It is much easier to adjust because you can now get your hands to this line um, then by just mounting it solid and fixed to this carbon fiber rod. If you have any better idea let me know in the comments. We have some room left. We can either build a servo on top of this plate or chop the plate and build the servo down to the bottom of the boat. What I thought I would do is just use the servo around like there with a longer end to adjust the sails. Um, I will not use a sail winch because the servo is pretty strong and I think strong enough um, and it is much quicker than a sail winch. Um, it is also much less likely to clog up um, on the drums of the winch. Talking about carbon fiber, these two carbon fiber, you would say plates, but they got some curve to it. Um, and better visible, no, it's pretty much invisible in the cell phone. Um, those, you might guess, are going to become the hydrofoils, I think. I'm not sure how much the position depends on weight distribution, uh, where I should mount them and how big I should cut them up. Shall I go further out? Shall I go further in? We will see. It's just a little sneak peek and we will figure out how it's working. I think for adjusting the whole system we have to come up with a servo solution and some automation system. I ordered a few gyro parts and I think if someone can help me I wanted to use a flight controller for a drone just using servos to adjust flight height and stability for the boat. That's it for the video. If you have any questions, any recommendations, any ideas, please feel free to let me know. One last thing. I think this is quite funny and quite easy to do. Um, you can use a servo horn, cut one end, use a metal plate, bend the metal plate, use a screw on the end with a slot and then you have a pretty simple, pretty strong servo connection to a round piece. Um, as you can see, I grinded out a flat part, um, but that is weakening the whole structure. This video took me about 50 minutes. Um, I think it is quite good to control your times, uh, therefore I use this stopwatch all the day. Um, it is simple, it is easy to use. You can just stop your system, clear it, and now we go to editing.